and the uplifting equipment. The standards, such as OSHA and ANSI, require a thorough, comprehensive inspection of all this equipment. At the maximum period of time, the interval not to exceed once every 12 months, a complete inspection must be done. Now, this inspection can happen more often depending on environment, condition, and use. This means that every crane, hoist, blow the hook lifting device, rigging items such as slings, has to receive a thorough annual inspection by a qualified person. There are three different ways that you can do these inspections based off of who's doing the inspection. First part is when you're doing these inspections yourself. Second part is where a maintenance organization is doing both the preventive maintenance, routine maintenance, and inspections of the equipment. Third part is where an independent third party inspector is inspecting your equipment. They do not own the equipment, they do not maintain the equipment. Even if you use an outside contractor to perform these inspections, additional inspections are also required, such as our other time based inspections. Our daily or shift inspection performed typically by the user of the equipment. Our monthly inspection, which would include all the aspects of our daily or shift inspection, and is often documented. There are also need based inspections, commonly called initial. When our equipment is new, it's called an initial inspection. However, when, even when we have modified, repaired, post assembled, or reinstalled equipment, when that piece of equipment returns to service or enters service, we still have a need to perform an inspection by a qualified person, and often this inspection is documented. Some of the common ways companies perform these inspections are they do it themselves or they hire a contractor to perform their annual inspections for them. When it's in-house, you're not hiring a contractor, your personnel are doing this, and oftentimes doing it yourself can be the easiest, most cost-effective way, but it takes time, it takes effort and personnel. Many organizations find the simplicity of simply hiring a contractor to maintain and inspect your equipment the easiest way to go. They believe it passes a lot of responsibility on to this contractor. Uh, you cannot contract away your responsibility. Even if you contract out your annual inspections, your organization still holds the responsibility of performing the other inspections and to determine what happens if there's a flaw or anomaly found during any of these inspections. CICB's team of highly qualified experts can help train your personnel in the performance of all these inspections and can train your qualified person in making that assessment of what has to happen for any findings of these inspections. Whichever way you go, CICB can help elevate your personnel's expertise in the world of inspections.